Hey, it's Scott Glue here from FastView, and I've just upgraded to Palo Alto Pan OS 10, and I'm pretty excited about one particular feature that I want to take you through. So there's, there's a ton of good features, such as machine learning baked into the core of the operating system, which is fantastic, but the one that took my eye is under the decryption features here, um, in particular the enhanced troubleshooting. So you probably know that if you've ever deployed SSL decryption on any firewall, you'll probably find that certain web pages break, certain apps don't work, and it's a real pain in the butt to sort of troubleshoot. So I've got one problem right here, which is Dropbox. So you can see down the bottom it says can't establish a secure connection. And you know, I've been into the SSL decryption exclusion section and added star.dropbox.com as an exclusion. It doesn't work. I've been through the Palo Alto threat and traffic logs and tried to find anything related to Dropbox and added exclusions for those. Still doesn't work. So I'm really excited to see now on the SSL activity section, they've got a new section down here for decryption failure reasons. And as you can see, it lists out api.dropboxapi.com, which is the SNI or the server name identification that you actually need to exclude to make Dropbox work. So it's fantastic that they're actually pulling this out on a new dashboard listing all of the decryption failure SNIs. So you can also drill down into this SNI and then click this little guy and go to decryption logs. And that will filter your decryption logs by that uh, server name identifier. And so you can see the IP addresses that have been affected and do a little bit of troubleshooting as to who might be having problems accessing Dropbox, for example. So one thing that would be really handy is to be able to click on this and just add that as a exclusion. But for now, you do need to sort of find a place where you can successfully copy this, which I found is up here. Let's just copy that URL or server name identifier and then go to device and then go to SSL decryption exclusions, click the add button and paste that URL in there. You can give it a name such as Dropbox Client. Yeah, and exclude and click OK. And don't forget the all important commit. Let's commit those changes. OK, so now that's successfully committed. Let's go and take a look at Dropbox and it says down the bottom up to date and it's thinking there's no more secure connection issue and everything is good. So with that simple addition, Palo Alto have made it a lot simpler to get SSL decryption actually deployed and working and to be able to troubleshoot these little issues that might come up with certain apps and pages and so on. So I hope that helps. If you do need further reporting on your Palo Alto, simply send syslog data to FastView Reporter for Palo Alto. We've got live dashboards showing you bandwidth, productivity and firewall information. We have live alerts. Uh, so you can configure things for people searching for nasty stuff online or high-risk sites or unproductive browsing. And we also have reports that you can send to HR, department managers, teachers, principals, safeguarding staff showing details about internet usage activity. If you want to get started, just go to fastview.co slash palo alto or email us at support at fastview.co and we will happily help you out. Cheers.